Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my second addition to the beauty brand superstars tag that was originally started by stephanie marie i will have her channel as well as her video link down below i did this video last week talking about all luxury and high-end brands and today we are going to be talking all about drugstore or more affordable brands so if you guys are interested in seeing my beauty brand superstars from the drugstore then just keep watching all right you guys so like i said this video was started by stephanie marie and basically the concept of this video is if you were if you owned nothing from a specific brand for example covergirl and i was recommending a couple of products just to dabble in or dip your feet into the brand what would be the products that i would recommend to you so that being said i have quite a few different brands to talk to you about today so let's just get started all right you guys so i actually am going to start with covergirl and i have two products to recommend to you from covergirl the first is one of my favorite foundations of all time and it is the covergirl vitalist healthy la 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 the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I have mine in the shade 705 Ivory, and then I also have the shade 720 Creamy Neutral, which is a little bit dark for me. And then I also just purchased 710, thinking I was buying 705. But 710 is classic ivory, so I have three of these. As you can tell, like, I use these, and I absolutely love this foundation. Any foundation that I'm not liking, I mix in with a pump of this, and I usually end up thinking it's okay. This is my second favorite foundation of all time, and that is including high-end brands. The only foundation that I think I like better than this, but I'm not even sure, is the Dior Forever Skin Foundation. So if you guys are looking for a phenomenal, phenomenal foundation, I would highly recommend the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. It just makes your skin look, it's such a natural finish. It's just, it's, it's a beautiful foundation. And then recently I picked up the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder. And I have really been enjoying this. This is mine. I have mine in the shade 720 Buff Beige. I swear I purchased this in a lighter shade. Anyway, even though this is in Buff Beige, it does work for me. I can sheer it out and it doesn't darken my foundation too much. It really does just smooth out the skin really, really nicely. It's not too heavy of a powder. And if you spray it with a mist, it doesn't end up looking cakey or powdery at all. It just, again, really like enhances your natural features and just is a really natural finish that I absolutely, I just love this powder as well. Next up, I just wanted to give an honorable mention to Pixie. I don't, I haven't dabbled a ton in their beauty, but I love their mists. Two of my favorite are the Hydrating Milky Mist as well as the Glow Mist. I went a little bit overboard with the Glow Mist today on my face, so that's why I'm looking like I'm literally dripping with sweat. But if you enjoy glowy skin, I would highly recommend the Glow Mist. Just a couple of spritzes and you are gonna be having a good glow for a good amount of time. And I, I just, I really do enjoy the Pixie Mist. So if you haven't tried anything from Pixie, I would highly, highly recommend their mists. All right guys, next up I wanted to talk about ColourPop. Now you can't find ColourPop specifically at the drugstore, but they are available in quite a few Ulta's now and you can get them obviously on the ColourPop website and they are considered to be a more affordable brand. I have three products to talk to you guys about today, although I do pretty much enjoy almost everything that I've tried from ColourPop, but my favorites would have to be their cream gel liners. I have five of these. I just pulled three of them out for right now. My favorite is in the shade Stomper, which I believe has been discontinued in the cream gel form, but I absolutely love the formula. It's super creamy, super easy to work with. I actually like to use it to put in my waterline because I find it's the one of the only eyeliners or gel liners or any liners that actually lasts in my waterline. I have really watery eyes and I find that they just work so, so, so well. So I absolutely love their cream gel liners. And then I also really enjoy their ultra satin lips. I've tried just about all of their lip products. I also like their lippy sticks. Their ultra matte lips can be really drying. So if you don't like a really drying lip formula, I would stay away. But I do find their ultra satin lips to be a good happy medium. The one that I grabbed was actually in collaboration, I think with Alexis Wren. This is in the shade Bare Necessities. I also have the red one from that collection and I have quite a few other satin lip shades that I really like. Dopey is a really pretty mauve brown shade that I love to wear in the fall time, but overall I just really do enjoy the Ultra Satin Lip Formula and it's one that I would highly recommend. And then finally you guys, I also do really enjoy their pressed shadows. I have five of their eyeshadow palettes. I have the Femme Rosa, which was a collab and I don't think you can get this one anymore, but as you can tell this is like a really pretty pink-y purple -y, palette. I love the tones in this one. 
really find their eyeshadow easy to work with and easy to blend. It's really, really pigmented and it does have a lot of kick up. So I would highly recommend that if you do, if you're using a ColourPop pressed shadow, I usually do my eyes before I do the rest of my face because I do find that I have to clean it up quite a bit afterwards. This is the palette. This is the Element of Surprise palette. This is one of my favorites. And then I recently picked up the Perception palette, which I have really been enjoying. There's a lot of shade selection in here. So if this is still available, this is one that I would also highly recommend. And this one has a mirror, which is really nice. Nice for travel. I actually just brought this with me to Texas, so really easy to travel with. I also have the Kathleen Lights Dream Street palette, which is on my eyes today. I really do enjoy this one as well. And then I have the ColourPop Semi Precious palette, which is all shimmers and I haven't used quite as much. I actually prefer their matte shadows to their shimmer shadows but overall their pressed shadows are really really good and ones that I would also really recommend. Moving on to the brand number seven which is a little bit harder to find now because I believe Ulta only carries their skincare now so I think as far as beauty products are concerned the only places that I've seen number seven is Target but I have two products to recommend to you from number seven. The first is their Lift and Illuminate foundation. I do really enjoy this foundation. I have mine in the shade Vanilla I've used about half of this. I'm going to probably pull this back out and start working at this one again. It's just a really beautiful, again, very natural finish. It's kind of like a light to medium, but you can build it sort of foundation. And one that I really like, it also has SPF 15, which is also really nice to get that added SPF. And then I also wanted to mention their bronzers. I have mine in the shade Golden Sand. I love this bronzer. It is a really nice, just light bronzer. Just so like it just really does a nice job of just adding like a hint of warmth to the cheeks without being too much. It is a matte bronzer, so if you're into matte bronzers, I would recommend checking this out. If you like more of a shimmery bronzer, then maybe meh, not this one for you. But I do again really enjoy this guy, and if you can get your hands on it, I would highly recommend checking it out. All right, let's talk about L'Oreal next. I know I've already mentioned two foundations in this video. But L'Oreal also makes two more foundations that I'm also really fond of. One of my favorites being the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love this foundation. I think it's beautiful. It definitely gives a glowy, glowy look to the skin. So if you have oily skin, this probably is not going to be the foundation for you because it is going to slip and slide around a little bit too. So if you don't, if you don't like that type of foundation, skip this. But if you're looking for a nice glowy foundation, especially for the summertime, I absolutely love this foundation. I do use this year round. This would probably be my third favorite foundation, but it'd be a close tie for the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I also really, really enjoy this foundation. This is the favorite, this is my favorite cushion foundation that I've ever tried. And what I love about this is again, it gives a nice, natural, radiant sort of look to the skin. And it's really easy to travel with you. You can just toss this in your purse and you can just easily touch this up. Now this isn't going to be the longest lasting foundation. The other foundations that I've mentioned are definitely going to be longer lasting than these two or than this one. Um, but this is really beautiful if you're just needing some coverage for a few hours. Again, I really like this. And again, it's easy to, to carry with you to touch up. I just, I found that this isn't the most long lasting foundation. And then I also wanted to briefly mention the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipsticks. These are intense these are going to last you a really long time they're very pigmented i do find sometimes that they do even stay in the lips so be cautious of that but if you like a long lasting liquid lipstick i love these i think they have great fall shades um not necessarily summer shades but i absolutely love these shades for the fall i have mine in these shades milk and cookies which is like this deep brown taupe shade i have these shade Plum Bum, which is this guy right here. Really pretty vampy color for the fall. And then more of like a red brown color, I have the shade Shakedown, which is this one right here. I really enjoy this formula, you guys. It is definitely a little bit drying or a lot bit drying. It's drying. So if you don't like a dry liquid lipstick formula, you probably should stay away from these. But if you don't mind a drying formula, these are really, really good. All right, and then we are going to close it out with Flower Beauty. Flower Beauty has one of my favorite blush formulas. This is their Flower Pots blush. I'm in, in the shade Warm Hibiscus, and I have been wearing this so, so, so much in the summertime. You probably won't be able to see this swatched, but it's just a really, really beautiful pink golden sort of blush. 
it definitely has like a shimmer sheen to it so if you like a matte blush you probably are not going to like this but if you don't mind a sheen to your blush or if you want like a glowy looking face again this is a really beautiful formula and then I also really like their Miracle Matte Lip Paints. I think this, again, is a really good drugstore version of a liquid lipstick. This is more of a moussey texture, so it's definitely a little bit more hydrating than the L'Oreal ones. It still is a bit of a drying formula. I mean, all liquid lipsticks really are, aren't they? Um, I have mine in the shade Bare Honey, which I think is a really, really beautiful neutral nude shade. I, like, am obsessed with the shade. It's a little bit... It's like a... If you can see it right there it's like a neutral nude pink but like a little bit deeper than a nude <laughs> I'm horrible at describing shades anyway I really do enjoy this formula would highly recommend I do plan to pick up more shades in this as well as more shades in the flower pots blush I think both are phenomenal so I would highly recommend checking both of these out if you get the chance all right guys that is going to wrap up this video I do have more drugstore brands that I could talk about but I wanted to keep this video on the not so long side so if you guys are interested in seeing me talk about more brands from the drugstore or more luxury and high-end brands leave the brands that you're interested in in the comment box below and I am happy to do a round two of these videos if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so before you go and I will see you guys in my next one Bye.